Hey everyone, Essence Co here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reacting to Mike Williams' new EP, Storylines. So this EP came out on Friday. It technically has eight tracks in the EP because they've also included the extended mixes, but there's actually four songs. And I've only heard one of these songs before, which is Best Part Missing, and I've done a song reaction video on that when that came out. I think Supernova with Retrovision also came out before, but I decided not to listen to it and save it for this EP reaction. But just quickly before I start, I got a new song coming out this friday called nothing i felt before it's not similar music to mike williams it's more melodic bass like nerco and elenium and all of those artists but if you'd like to help me out and take 30 seconds to pre-save a song there's a link in the description to do so but let's get into the reaction so track number one is best part missing which like i said i've heard before i do remember liking this song i can't remember what i rated it out of 10 the first time i listened to it but i remember really liking the vocal on it it's got a really nice piano i think it's more upbeat as well i think in the video i googled it and it was like 140 bpm or something and normally house stuff's like between like 120 and 130 we'll say I gotta admit, this is the right track to start the EP on, though. It feels like a start to an EP. I will say as well, like, off the bat, I was kind of expecting, like, at least five songs on the EP. But it is what it is. is really nice i love our like tape stop effect as well where like yeah i i it's hard to explain <laughs> it's like got quite a catchy melody i still i remember the first time i listened to this and i've still listened to it since as well um i don't like that like warm noise at the beginning of like each bar, I just, I don't know. I love this bit with the drums here. is really nice. I have no idea who the vocalist is on this either because it's not tagged. It's a really good song. It is a really good song. It's definitely grown on me as well since I first listened to it. I mean, I liked it off the bat anyway. I do cycle songs out on my playlist quite frequently. My my main playlist. Um, I think this is still in there though. Still a really good song. I can't remember what I rated it out of 10 the first time I listened to it. But as it's not like fresh for me anymore, I'm going to rate it like an 8 out of 10 now. That is still a good rating. So track number 2 is Supernova with Mike Williams and Retrovision. This one I've never heard before, but quite a lot of people wanted me to react to it and were saying that it's a good song, so I'm intrigued. Interesting melody. Is he going straight into a build like this? No, no time for playing around. I don't know. This is like a bit of a heavier vibe to it. Ooh. Oh, nice. AB. AB. 
piano. Oh, very clean. There's definitely retrovision sounds in there. That's sick. Nice. Very nice. It's one of those songs that like doesn't have a proper vocal on it other than like that little vocal sample and it's just more like here's some insane production like, this is actually really sick i bet this slaps live as well oh a bit of bassy a bit Lots of variety in this one, lots of variety. Very nice. The bass, so clean. Sick. I was definitely up there. I like how, like, that was the start of another song then as well. I just paused it because I have to give a rating. But all of these tracks are flowing into each other as well, which is really sick. Supernova, I'm actually going to give out a 9 out of 10. I think it's pretty solid. I wouldn't say it's, like, my favourite song ever, but in terms of, like, the energy and the variety and just how interesting the song was, it's a 9 out of 10 from me. Track number three, we've got Ambush featuring Robbie Mendez. Actually, I think this track also might have come out before. But again, I haven't heard this one. That's a very nice bass. Okay. I don't know whether this is featuring Robbie Mendez or if Robbie Mendez is a producer. I might have said that wrong. I think Robbie Mendez might be a producer. I've never heard of them. Sorry. Okay. Oh, nice. Okay. This is nice. It always gives me like a little sort of progressive vibe to it. It's quite a happy sort of vibe. Lots of variety in this song, I must say. No vocal in this one at all, though. Right, okay, second drop. Yeah, okay, it's it's all right. It's all right. It's probably so far it's my least favorite one, I think. But it's um yeah, it's just all right. And the melody's all right. It has a happy vibe to it. I'm sure it'll work well with like some mashup of some other song if you throw like a vocal on it or something as it's an instrumental. But yeah, not bad. Not bad. I don't hate it, I just prefer the other one so far. So 
so that one I'm going to give like, I'm going to give it like a 6 out of 10. I'm going to be a bit harsh. It's an alright song. I, I don't mind it. I don't really see myself listening to it a lot though, to be honest, compared to the other ones anyway. And finally, for track number 4, we've got When the Sun is Gone featuring Rhythm. Ooh, okay. Hold me tight when you feel like it all Together we'll be okay with the light in the world when the sun is gone. It's gone. We'll be running red lights till the end of the road. Like this vocal a lot. That's really nice. Wow. That's different. I tell you what, normally I'd say it's all right, but there's something about that synth sound that's really, it's giving me like old school sort of vibes. I like that. I don't think it's anything like too special, but it's it's nice, very nice. Like that bit, like the raspiness of the vocal. Oh, so nice. Oh, stripped back build here. Very nice. It's almost like chill in a way. You know, it's def it's the complete opposite vibe to uh, Supernova. Like Supernova felt more like intense, sort of big, and this one's just like a, a nice listen. Yeah, that was a really nice song. That one I'm going to rate a 9 out of 10. I think that was a really solid one. Well, that's the EP anyway. So now it's the part where i got to rate the EP as a whole out of 10. I think it was a solid EP. I definitely felt like I wanted a little bit more from it. It felt a bit... I don't know, like three out of four of the tracks were released before. I still think there's other Mike Williams songs that I prefer over the ones that are on this EP. I don't think the EP was anything too crazy. I do think it had variety though. Somehow managed to make every song different on that EP. I don't think any of these sounded the same. So there's definitely bonus points for that. I think overall, I'm going to give it a solid eight out of 10. I'm going to probably listen to all of these tracks again. And there wasn't anything on here which I hated or didn't enjoy. But let me know what you thought of the EP in the comment section down below. Also, let me know what your favorite Mike Williams track is in general, like outside of the EP. Because for me, I think Lullaby or Wait Another Day were probably my favorite songs by him. And also while you're down there, drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already. I'm really trying to get to 5,000 subscribers before the end of the year. So if you haven't already subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. But my name is Inzco and I hope you have a great week.